Hello again, I'm John Terzak and welcome to another video cooking lesson at the Season Cook. Today I will answer the question of how to make what is often referred to as salt and pepper fried calamari, which is a Chinese reference to a style that the Chinese use for making fried calamari. What I have in front of me here is five calamari bodies. One of them, which is exactly how I purchased this, is frozen solid. And that's how they come, individually frozen like that. And so I have eight ounces of calamari here all together. And we're going to get it pre-prepped before we fry it. And here's how we're going to do that. I'm going to cut the squid body open with a knife like so, which is what I've done to all of these. Then I'm going to take what's called a jacarding tool, which is a Typically, it's supposed to be a meat tenderizer, but I never use this on meat because I think it's not a good idea generally. It has about 40 little blades and, and, and points in it. And I'm going to tenderize this piece of squid. These are larger bodies than the smaller ones that typically come with tentacles. And so they need a little bit of this, I think. Okay, that's enough. Now I did that to all of these other bodies. Now I'm going to cut them up and we're going to soak them in some milk for about a half an hour. Now the question you have to face now is what size do you want your calamari to be? I'm going to cut this half in half and then I'm going to cut this into moderately decent sized pieces here. I'm going to put that directly into the milk. I'm actually cutting them into threes. This way I've got a nice chunk. So eight ounces of calamari would be a main dish version or a nice little appetizer version for maybe two, three, four people to share. Well, we'll cut all these in half again. And again, you can cut them whatever size pieces you want. You can even fry that entire piece like that. You don't even have to cut it if you don't want, but this makes it easy to pick up and it's a little bit more bite size. So preparing this does not take that long. I mean, I spent two minutes pounding those other ones out before we opened up this video. So now it's going to sit in the milk for about 30 minutes. And the reason we're doing that is the same reason that seafood is generally soaked in milk. And that is to reduce the level of oil, which sometimes translates to fishiness in the final tasting of the item. Uh, and that's the purpose of the milk, to, to minimize any fishiness in it. And in this case, it might make it a little milky, but that's not the primary reason. So we'll be back in about 30 minutes, and we're going to get this in some flour. We're going to fry it, and we're going to serve it with some sweet chili sauce, sauce and some marinara sauce. Okay, the calamari's been soaking in the milk for a half an hour, and we're going to start the process. First, I have about a quart of flour here, and we're going to season that with some salt and some pepper. You season it to the extent that you want. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of oregano. I have some dried Italian oregano here. I'm going to put, oh, about a tablespoon and a half in there. So, we want to make sure that the salt and pepper squid, as this is being called, has salt and pepper in it. And we're going to be sprinkling some of it on at the end also. So, let's get our calamari out of the milk and into the flour. And let's get the calamari tossed in the flour. So there's no breading involved, per se, where I see a lot of people that uh, 
trying to find all kinds of ways to coat their calamari and simple flour and having soaked in milk which also helps the calamari uh, hold the flour on it because you want a nice even round coating of the flour okay now let's take the calamari because we want to get the excess flour off of the calamari before it ends up in the fryer. So again we have eight ounces of calamari here. And now into the basket. We'll talk about the frying time here in a second right after I get this in here. want to get it stuck together. Okay. So, you don't want to overcook the calamari because it will make it tough. And you don't want to undercook it because it'll be tough. What you want to cook it is just the right amount. So as long as it takes for this to get brown, which is about two minutes, and we're going to fast forward for about two minutes here. I'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like. It's been about two and a half minutes, maybe three minutes. I think it looks perfect. Let's get it out of this basket. What I normally do before I put this on a serving plate is I put this in another bowl for a second to kind of pre-drain it a little bit, which is what I just did, see? Now, we'll put it on our serving plate. That looks good. Remember, this is all body, no tentacles here. This looks great. I can't wait to eat this. And we're going to put a little bit of salt and pepper directly on the salt and pepper calamari. And we're going to throw a little bit of chopped parsley out here just for fun. But in a nutshell, there you have it. good basic large body calamari tenderized a little bit, cut in fairly large pieces and deep fried. Now, I love serving this with a marinara sauce and a meat ploy sweet chili sauce for the dips on the side. So there's like a main dish for a person or enough for two, three, four people to share as an app on one table. I hope I answered the question for you of how to make salt and pepper calamari. Enjoy this.